Sam Song Lee. Sam, highlight of my day spending time with you. <laughs> Let's talk substance first. This show, because I want people to know, this show was conceptualized by an all Asian writer's room. Features an all Asian cast. You got Asians in front of the camera and behind the Let's camera. Go. As we continue to see this type of breakouts for AAPI representation, mm -hmm. how does it make you feel to be such a part of this next gen of AAPI representation? First of all, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Um, this is really exciting uh, to be here, to be able to talk about this. Um, it's incredible, it's incredible. I, I feel like in a lot of ways, it's life-changing, obviously, but um, I've felt like I've always, I've had a hunch that the industry was gonna be able to get to this point, and I'm just really stoked that it's happened a lot faster than I thought. Like, I, I honestly thought it was gonna take over 10 years to see the momentum that we're getting, um, but it's happened so much sooner. I think just with the globalization of Netflix, of shows, um, audiences, global audiences being open to representation. It's just sparked a lot of conversation and it's, it's awesome to be here. Sam, let's also talk about representation. I'm a big advocate of see her, be her. In your instance, you said that people like Daniel Day Kim, mm -hmm. DDK, people like Steven Yun, when you saw them on the screen, yeah. it inspired you to say, you know what, I see them on the screen and I think I can do that too. Yes, yes. It gave me a lot of confidence, especially growing up in America, because, you know, I grew up also in China and in Hong Kong. And it was weird because I feel like growing up there and watching TV there, it was so normalized to me. Everybody on TV looked like me. Um, mm. And then coming to the to the America, it was not like that. And so it kind of had like a weird effect on me where I didn't feel confident that I could do this. But I do feel like being in Hong Kong, being in China and seeing it so normalized gave me the delusions to do what I want to do <laughs> because I realized that, hey, maybe it, this can happen here, you know, like it, it, made, it, it gave me a little bit more confidence. Well, let's talk about that American dream. You and I are both the children of strong immigrant Asian mothers. Your mother wanted you to be a computer yeah. scientist, an engineer. <laughs> My mom wanted me to be a doctor, too. You and I need to get together to commiserate over the fact that we probably traumatized <laughs> our mothers significantly that we haven't done that. But what is it meant? But what is it meant to you and your family to see you achieve that success, being an immigrant, having that immigrant story be such a blockbuster success? in the United States? Uh, it, it means everything. It means I, I, I truly could not be happier and I feel so, so grateful that, that my mom can experience this with me and, and mm. get, to, get to see me succeed um, at, at her work these days. You know, she's like the most popular person there. Everybody, you know, comes into her office and uh, shouts the show out and, and uh, you know, always is curious about what I'm up to and just, you know, how behind the scenes stories on the show. So I think she's really enjoying it and I'm really happy to, to see her so fulfilled and I'm just glad I didn't let her down, so. <laughs> <laughs> In the little time that I have left with you, Sam, I did want to, no spoilers, by the way, I wanted to talk about the importance of yeah. food. Food is critically mm -hmm. important in our cultures and, and a lot of cultures, actually. I think it's a tie that binds a lot of different cultures. But food plays a very prominent yeah. role in the series, The Brother Son. Talk quickly about why you think that is. I think especially in Asian families, you know, food is where you come together to sit down. And even if you look at the way that, that Asian people eat their food, it's like family style, you know, like everybody kind of serves, uh, there, there are dishes that everybody shares. And that's, you don't really see that in like Western society. You don't really see that when I go out with my friends, but you know, in traditional Chinese society and traditional Chinese gatherings, it's just, it's, it's a way to come together. And you really see that in the, in the show, so much of some of the best scenes, uh, especially with Michelle uh, comes over the dinner table. <laughs> So, Sam, uh, I have to let you go. Sam Sung Lee, I did want to say the following to the viewers. The Brother Son, mm -hmm. Netflix, go check it out. Sam also can be found on various yes. social media platforms <laughs> where he got started. And the last thing I'm going to say to you, Sam, is I like karaoke, too. I'll sing Shallow with you any day, but we got to go to Chong yes. Cho's mansion. For those of you listening right we now, do. you'll be like, what is Katie Fang talking about? But watch the series, and you'll know gotta what I'm talking about. Got to watch the series. Sam.